The rush for treatment in Wajia County, a jam-packed pharmacy at the county hospital. But it is in these wards that the exact scale of the cholera problem in Wajia becomes apparent. Health workers spray beds, walls and other items in the wards with disinfectants. Visitors have to be disinfected before entering the wards and also after leaving. The splash of shoes in the disinfectant solution, a reminder that all steps have been taken to safeguard the health of residents. Many patients are receiving care in an isolated ward set aside for cholera victims. County health officials say the problem is now under control. The number of cholera cases that were line listed is 83 cases. Of these 83 cases, uh, 55 were admitted and this child after recovery. The health workers with their protective gear are on the lookout. This is because Wajia, which has shallow water wells, uses a bucket latrine system. Although some residents have fitted proper seaweed systems with septic tanks, many are forced to use the bucket latrines, which increase the risk of cholera spreading. Health authorities, however, hope that with the improved sanitation and isolation of infected patients, this latest outbreak will be kept under control and many lives saved in the process. Fiona Kenga, Citizen and weekend.